that uh, each of these x values is a solution to the problem. So we've got our unit circle here, but I'm going to factor this down so it's going to be 2 sine of x. Uh, let's see here. Minus 1, it looks, not no, plus 1, and then sine of x minus 1. So um, to get this equal to 0, we need sine of x to equal negative 1 half. Oh, excuse me. Don't worry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in, sorry, pi, I'm going to plug in each of these and I should get zero out for each different one depending on the solution. So pi over two is right here. We plug in pi over two um, for sine because sine's y over x. We get uh, one, so it's one over one. So in this instance, we get two times one plus one uh, times one minus one. So this ends up being equal to three times zero, which is equal to zero. So that works out. What about when we plug in seven pi over six? Seven pi over six, so that's right here. That's equal to negative, or negative one half, so two times negative one half plus one, so that's equal to negative one plus one, so that gives us zero times, so negative one half here. So we get negative three halves and times something Oh, excuse me, times something, times negative 3 halves. I got confused. 0 times negative 3 halves equals 0. So that verifies it for 7 pi over 6. And that's it. Alrighty, I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you watching. You have a great day.